costados Atrás Más falta de descanso Mojito, mojito Slavatsla ir pilos taus Tās Un svētais kars Mošīgi Mošīgi Mūsu tās debesīs Sveitīts, lai to tavs vārds Lai nāk tavu valstī Tavs prāts, lai notiek, kā debesīs tā arī ir zemes. Mūsu dienišķo maizs dodi mums šodien un piedodi mums mūsu parādes, kā arī mēs piedodam saviem parādniekiem. Un neieved mūsu kārdināšanā, bet atmestī mūs no ļauna, jo tev piedara valstī spēks un gods, mūžīgi mūžos. Āmen! cilvēki lūkt. Ceļos nometies bija ļoti, ļoti vecs mūks. Dievu lūdza viņš īlgi acīs asarām par tiem cilvēkiem lūdzās grēkos tas grīst. Ir bija ieraudzīja, ka nu simtenis tas, stāvot šādus ceļiem, lūdzot lūkšanas, gribot beidzot izprast saro jautājumu, kāpēc pasaulē redzam tik daudz ciešanu. Sēltā sēlda jau riet zemi tumsa nu sēts, mana sirds tāk liet, nu sēdāma tāk liet. Palīdzi virus atkal ticību, noņem mana kumu un dvēsli glāk. Tu mums pierodinies, piedot un šīs Tu mums piedodinies, piedod un šķīstīgums. Tu mums piedodinies, piedod Dievs. Kādā Dievna vasarā, kur nāk cilvēki lūk, ceļos nometies bija ļoti, ļoti vecs mūs. Ja nošķīries Dievam, šķiet no pasaules viņš, ja domas tam šķīstas, Dievs apskaļotas.
in the Word of God. I would like to really preach in a jacket because it is a little bit cold. We all have encountered such situation personally, I think it is no exception to no one because uh, everybody has encountered such a moment it has been and we are saying if I had only known you know this saying if I had only known everything would have been different if only I had known the quality of life would have changed if only I had known and then the neighbor says but nobody knows and then oh yeah and, and then you are relaxing because we, no, we can't know anything if we, we, if we had known then we wouldn't use it if we would know everything further then we would be rich living here in the world we would be rich living here in the world but but in the kingdom of God it isn't like that because God has revealed to us what can what can we know about God it isn't uh, separated from us and no, no suggestion from neighbor won't work no excuse won't work because uh, with God God has revealed himself to you and you see how many congregations are there. Of course, this is the only church who is, is who's talking a little bit strange, you know. But basically, it is all needed for the person to know about God. We will read such scripture from the Gospel of Matthew. We could start with the chapter 25 with a... Uh, with and here in this chapter 25, you know, in the 14, it, it shows, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is, those who know about God, they have this, this uh, first, uh, first appearance by God. Uh, a lot of people know about God, but how do they know? Here the Greek word, no. We are talking here, it shows that he knows it uh, outwardly. We have to know Christ uh, inwardly, not, not just outwardly, but inwardly. We have to know God. Of course, uh, there is a solution to that. Jesus gives a solution also to that problem. And here he says like that. In the, and then it is said in the verse 25, and I was afraid and went to get like talent in the earth. Lo, there go, has done. He's Lord answered and said unto him, Thou wicked and slothful servant, thou knewest that I reap where I sow not, and gather where I have not strawed. Thou oughtest therefore to have put my money, money to the exchangers, and then at my coming I should have received mine own with usury. Yes, bring forth the returning fruit. Uh, the God says, if God says, if you know God in this way, then make the right decision. If it's like that, just make the right decision. Here is this one episode in here. We could also say, if only had he known, maybe it would have changed. A lot would have changed. Those people, those people who, who had less talents, like three or one, you know, maybe you are looking at yourself, oh, where do I am, small and little, you know. Why am I stopping to this, these verses, to the verses, to the, in the verse 21, you know? 
It is said in here, in the word for well done, well good and faithful servant. It is God that these uh, persons who are they are in the battlefield, but they and they are wounded, you know, and maybe but they are they but they are protecting themselves against enemies. Maybe they are protecting their na nation, you know. When we are like this, like wounded, and this, this and we. Doesn't, it doesn't go as well, you know, God doesn't just say bad things about us, because you can't just say bad things when you are in the battlefield, you know, he, he will encourage, you know, you know, and he will say, oh, you are a hero, yes, you, you didn't get anything in the right way, but, but you, you, you were in the right mood, you know. God says, well done, both good and faithful servant. In, and there is this second category, no way, I won't go in there, this is the second category. I will be wounded, I will be better uh, in the... In, in the other position, and then God says that you are, you are slothful, you, you know. If you don't if you don't have fight, you know, but I'm not just doing any type of thing. Be careful. Just take a look in your in your head. What type of emotions do you have? What type of motives do you have? What type of senses do you have? What's in your head? We aren't so holy, so that we would be so that we would be doing just nothing. If you would be just like that, you'll be holy. Then, then, then the, the signs and wonders would have come with you, like the kingdom of force would come with force. Maybe you are, have grown in a cultural family with good virtues, but Jesus says as well, take the cross up every day. Then what? Then what, what the deal, not just accept those who are uh, well virtued, you know, who are well grown up, you know. Then he would have said like that. We have to be in action. It is said in the Bible that he is our chief commander. Because he was holy, he was uh, fighting with these uh, temptations, he was fighting up against sin, he was holding him in position, he was a lot in prayer. He said himself, he gave us a recipe, so not enough for us to fall in temptation, just pray God, non-stop, so we have to be, it is a work, you know, because one part, who don't have this, uh, these skills of like the mind, you know, and a lot of other excuses, you know, and the neighbor is, won't say that you can't know anything from the Bible, because it, and so on and so forth, and it means that that what you have, you, you have to use it, that which you have. You have to take up the cross each and every day, you can't have any excuses. The only excuse, just humanly speaking, that Satan can trick you. What, what are you just doing there? Just live like a normal life. Just, just calm down, it comes from hell, this type of move. You won't get it done, you know, you were trying, you know. Yes, I was trying, and I can't get it right. Do you want to know how many how many times Moses tried before he got this, this, this one type of level, you know, this uh, spiritual level, 40 levels until he, he left his Egypt, he was well raised up, you know, he was raised to good uh, people, you know, with good manners, you can add something more, 40 years, but you just wanted to get it done in one month? For, for Paul, a possible 14 years, I will remind you, it is his beginning, so that Satan comes to you and he just says, you just cry, how many times have you tried with this, with this unvirtue, you know, and this person not knowing the word of God, and because of his weaknesses, he falls on this trick of Satan, and then, yes, you have to be afraid, from these words, as the God said, you subtle servant, you buried the talent, 
In the word of God, and in the God, nothing has been hidden because the word of God has been looked through from the first people. The Bible hasn't lost in all the first congregations haven't been lost in all you. You have been, it has been known to you a lot. So, the retreat, you don't have no retreat way and God, we will also look in further, you know, what, hap what happens to those people, what, what happens when, when God separates these uh, sheep from goats, but we will just take a look and analyze in here what can you also add in here to fight in the gospel of luke in the gospel of luke chapter 13 you know the fight to go through the narrow gate and it is the most interesting thing is that a lot will want to come inside but they won't be able to come through this narrow gate just imagine that is that what I said? You can't come through the kingdom of God until you have denied yourself. No, yes, a lot of people are believing to God and they are repenting and but God says you have to turn from your sin. You have to repent from your sin and turn from your sin. There, there will be this uh, born again situation, this motivation, this position. And God says in your heart, and, and God sees it. You can't hid from God. And it is interesting in there, you can know, in the Gospel of Luke, the chapter 13, verse 24, they to enter in the wicked for many as I think that you will seek to enter in and shall not be able. It, it, it will be, I think, when it will be like the rapture or the second coming of Christ. A lot of them will want to enter, but they will not be able. And there is also another translation. A lot will try to seek. They will want to. A lot of translations as I'm and they won't be able, it will be a break up for them, so it can't be like that when, when just uh, when relying on the eternity you are in this type of situation. Let us, let us look at this Matthew chapter 24 about the talents, you know, I, I will give you a little descriptions, you know. That's why we are coming together, we are sharing together, you know, what, what God has done in your life, so that in order to encourage and, and to lift you up, you know, and, and you are giving this, 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 this you, you can uh, help the per person a lot, with some type, to see some type of principles with this testimony, and the person is in other conditions, you know, and that he comes, and you you who are living in the city, he can tell you from another position, you know, but you can share with this person how good is the word of God, what type of fight was there on the island, we are from a lot of uh, these conditions, and it is a blessing, these are those talents, because God won't put you in conditions where you can't be right with it, so that it is uh, in the verse 15, in the word 15, uh, and on one he gave five talents, another two, and to another one, to every man according to his several ability, his great weight. So, no, God has put you in there where you are possible to make your, your salvation, where you can uh, evolve, where, where you can live according to the standards of God, also these conditions. Also, this uh, power of will, we know, also among these non-believers, they have a lot, one has this type of willpower, this, some has this, uh, you know, this type of willpower of virtues, you know, 
God's good goodness, health. Never somebody, somebody never maybe never has born, you know, unhealthy, you know, crippled, but God gives according to the ability, in some type of way. Maybe to his foolishness, maybe he is, uh, and in the world also they are poisoning themselves with alcohol, with, nic with cigarettes, you know, they want to try, they want to prove themselves in the world and then in the end they are, they are uh, spoiling their health. They, there is also there is relatives also, these relatives who are spoiling your health, you know. These non-believers, they also know you, you, are, uh, you are spoiling your health. First it comes in the level of soul and then to the other way. God, maybe God has given you a good health. Those are those talents we, which we have to use uh, because, because of the kingdom of God. Uh, speaking about the conditions, God has put you in these type of conditions so that you would help those people who are around you. And, and you are this person who can help them, not, not, not from the other part of the world, not, not, from, not from the other part of Riga. You can help those people where God has put you, only you are the one, you are responsible. You, it is your responsibility to use your talent. Not that you know that you you have to be good, you know. Everything what we do, if we are a believing person, we have to do it because according to Christ and those people who are around us just talk to their hearts. Yes, no it does mean that you will come as a Rambo with the bullets, you know, in, 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 with the holy word, you are, and, and you will shoot themselves with the gospel, and they, they have fallen with this gospel, you know. You have to do it in love. We just don't have to make these blockbuster type of moves. We have to do it in love. We are talking to these persons, you know, we are loving themselves. Maybe he hasn't uh, put on some nice clothing, you know. Just, just be like a normal person, be like a normal... Just show that you are like a normal person. That it is, that it is uh, good to be with you, that it is good to be in relationship with you. Maybe, maybe he has done worse and you don't have to say that God will punish you so that it's written a word of what type of sense has he? Just in the beginning, just say that it spoils your health. And just slow by slow, you know, step by step. And when the communication gets deeper, then you can talk about the word of God. You can tell also about yourself a little bit, just slowly, you know, so that, it, so that, so that this person wouldn't be traumatized with your right and now you are showing like this and that. No, in love. Everything is done in love. Because because love, love is the right move. You can also sow the seed, you know, something like that. So the word, so the God has put you in those conditions, and uh, this is your talent, what God has given you. You say, I don't have any talent. I don't. I am not a painter, a singer, you know. I am neither this nor that. But but where God has put you, and what you have, all these conditions. With you. Just work in there. And, and also a talent can be also in... Uh, and also in a straight way, you know. You know, these physical conditions when, when you are doing the gymnastics, you know, free gymnastics, and then these people who are around you, logically speaking, and, and you are just feeling that the fitness club is the door of your life, you know, it's something beautiful. Just go in there, and you can help those people who are around you. Maybe I won't go to the gymnastic club, but the God has given you this talent just to be like to grow these muscles. And you are, maybe you can preach the gospel to them, so that there is more, more than these uh, bars, these iron bars, and muscles. It can be uh, like that as well. God has given you belief as well. You come to congregation and share with it. You will say, I am not a speaker, you know. When you are, it is, it is already, you know, because we, 
your presence already speaking to these people, you know, and it is uh, nice. There is also nice that there are also people, you know, maybe you can't, you know, speak, but, but just pray for this closest person, you know. We will be blessed through this, through these talents, you know, I'm just, I'm just uh, looked a little bit like that. If you are dodging in all of this, like from everything from this, it won't be a good move. If it isn't uh, connected with this uh, inner, you know, then, then this, this, this director or this it will, would seem really uh, an angry man and for this lazy person person, you know, this director sees a lot of times a really strict, you know, this, this sense is different for them. If you are not working to you to the quality of your soul, because in the result, it, it, it should come outwardly, you, it should come outwardly, you know, and naturally speaking, each Christian, you, it shouldn't be like spoken when we are speaking to the close one, the word of God. And I'm thinking a lot of times those people with whom I am preached, maybe a lot of congregations could be filled, you know, so that they would, if they would have understood, if they would not love so much their own ego, their own proudness, their own sin, you know, and what, what, what's taking them off from the church, the sin. And then every this one episode, and the, to the slothful servant, he said that the, the slothful servant, the wicked and slothful servant, and those who hide, hide their talent, you know, they bury it under the ground, under the, like in the world, like God has given you, but you are using it like, like a non-believer, your, your spiritual life doesn't like differ, you, maybe you're a believer, but but your lifestyle isn't different from those who are living in the world. And God called these type of persons like, 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 uh, like, slothful, you know. And there's also a place where Jesus calls himself fools as well. Maybe you remember them as well. There was this person who, who bought this building, you know, to make them even bigger and then this crop so that it will come. And there was this phrase, you know, you are like a foolish one, you know, in the original he said, you are a fool, in, you are, I think it is, in the original it, it is like a fool, like in a, a, a strict way, you know, so that those who are lazy, also that they aren't doing anything, or, or they don't take the cross up every day, then Jesus says, you are a fool. In, in the presence of God, we we are not hidden, yet also thoughts, not only the talk about it, but also our thoughts. In the first Corinthians, you know, Corinthians, you know, Es lasīšu, kā ir orģināli, jā, katrā darbs tajā dienā tiks redzams. Uguns, e, tā, ko tu paliku? Nā, uguns to atklās, katru to darbu, un atklās, kād, kādu katrs darbs ir darīts, tā ir rakstīts, kādu katrs darbs ir darīts. And it will be revealed everything with fire, as it is said it is, when summarizing, you know, because uh, the fire will reveal it, you know, but as our work will be tested with fire, as it is said in these lines in the first Corinthians, you know, so, so, in, the, so in the judgment day, in the place of the day of judgment, it, it, you know, in that day, it, it, the fire will reveal it, our work will be re revealed. With fire, you know, so, so what type of work we have done, fire will reveal it, so, so, that the, so if, if whose work will stay, you know, which will be tested with fire, that one will 
say, you know, like we were uh, talking about talents, that one who, who earned like talents, you know, salary, you know, these nice words which were said in the Bible, you know. Well done, both and faithful servant, faithful servant, as it is said in these lines, you know, in the Gospel of Matthew. And so that he, we can see that that's work who, who he won't suffer. Like in that type of sense, you know, his work will suffer, you know, he will be saved himself, but as through fire, as through fire, and there is a commentary about this, I won't be talking about which is saved and which isn't, but the idea is this, that the word of God is like a fire, this word of God is like a fire, and when we are reading, when we are accepting this word of God, it should be like that it changes us, and it also burns everything which is dirty in such because it reveals like our deeds, like, you know, our dirty deeds and, and, and that's the word of God in the Hebrew is that because the word of God is sharper than a two-edged sword. So the word of God is like a fire and this fire, it changes, it, it burns everything uh, dirty inside of you, all these things which you get in care when sitting and listening, there should be a continuation in your life. You should practice them, these things, so that the quality of life of yours should change. And that that day will be in front of God and everything will be seen. It is already seen, so that it won't be like... So that it won't be like that. If only I had known. So that it wouldn't be in like this saying, if only I had known. So that it wouldn't be like that. I can tell you already. The, the God sees through you all your thoughts, motives, all your senses. What are you doing with these senses? As I told you, you know, the, these senses come and we, we are analyzing all these things. That maybe this is a good thing. Maybe you can use them. Just cut it off. So that it won't be like that, like like, like this case, you know, as Daiga told you, or this is a classic case, like like thing comes and it really puts in slavery, like with these candies, you know, this girl, you know, this is a classic case. What happens in the life of person, the smartest one is the one who cuts it off. Why? Because the world of thought, in the world of thoughts, you are revealed like a book. That what that which you are doing alone at home, when no what what happens with your mind, what type of thoughts you are thinking, what type of what type of words are you speaking in your thoughts, what type of actions are you doing when you are alone at home, when, when nobody is with you, when you are in people, yes, everything you are nice, clean and white, but, but I would like to pay attention so that it wouldn't be like that, that at that day, if only I had known, like this phrase, if only I had known, but now you know, your, the quality of your life should change and we will return to the verse 25, Gospel of Matthew, from the verse 34, this positive moment, let us take a look at this positive moment. The Gospel of Matthew, verse 20, chapter 25, verse 34. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come ye blessed of my father, and get the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation. For I was hungered, and ye gave me meat. I was first, and ye gave me drink. I was a stranger, and ye took me, and there is naked and he clothed me. Then shall the righteous unto the king say, Lord, when saw we thee and hungered and fed thee, or thirsty and gave thee fish? When saw we thee stranger and took thee in, or naked and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick or in prison? And if these believers would have known, you know, more, if they would have known more, Everything what they were doing to their closest month, like this first commandment, if they would have realized this first commandment better, you know, then what would their quality of life be better? Of course, logically speaking, but from one side it is like a, like a 
like a sorrow, like a repentance, because they also had like, like, like a sorry, you know, feeling. But I was doing it for Christ. But their, their, quote, their life also would have changed. Like, you have this privilege that you won't have to be, you don't have to wander, you won't have you have this, this, this wonder moment, you know, if only I can know it for the world, yes, but but those who are the kingdom of God, you can know as much, so that you wouldn't wonder, if only I can know, so that you would be sorry, yes, you, would, you will be saved, so that you would just look at your past, if only I had known, then I would have read more the word of God, I would have prayed more, I would have denied more, I would have taken this cross uh, and put, put it inside and sometimes we just take this cross, oh, I have this feeling and then we are repenting and then again I'm repenting from the sin and then I put, put off this cross, then all the time we are taking this cross to and cross to and fro, but now you know how serious it is to bring forth these fruits. You know, how serious it is, how serious it is, it is to, to take a look in your thoughts, in your motives, in your car condition, in your senses, to follow your senses, you know, how important, how important it is, starting from eating, from money, from anger, and all these, and all these loneliness, all these hate notes, how important it is to analyze each and and every detail in your life so that there wouldn't be like this, this bad feeling so that nothing is more important because we will give an account to God how we are living one thing that you are saying but the other thing is how we are living and it, it hasn't been hidden especially here in this church you know these because it is the number one accent but, but, but as Paul said he said, I think, I think it is in the first Timothy 4 a because God, because God bearing attitude has these promises of not only today but also the future. If you want to have these blessings, which God thinks you, you, you have to take up this cross each and every day and take up this narrow road. Because I am reminding you once more Christianity isn't just only words, Christianity isn't just only words. Be blessed, amen.